Uh, just a bit of an update. Um, only about five or six targets so far. No gold yet. Um, I've got a faint signal here. You can see here. Hopefully you can see. Uh, someone sort of scraped the, uh, the leaf litter away and the sticks. And I've got a signal here. And I dug down, dug down, and it wasn't sounding too, too crash hot. Um, and you might not be able to see from the shade. Just in here, I hit this orange clay layer. And a few hot rocks started to fly out. And I thought, ah, oh, we've just detected a bit of ground noise. But I gave it another scrape with the pick, and um, it sharpened up. Now I'll have to get this in the sun. Now it's still in a bit of dirt. Just get the dirt off. That was a little little lead shot. So um, yeah, when you're getting that positive signal, just keep digging. So yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of mild clay doesn't seem to be uh, affecting it all that much. Um, now one thing I have noticed is. I got a faint signal earlier on and I checked it um, to see uh, with the settings, you know, what I'm going to get uh, the best response out of. And uh, I tried turning the, uh, this, the sat down and it actually made it worse. Um, so uh, I progressively went from, from the sat off um, up, you know, four or five. And um, once I got to a sat of... Um, six then i was getting a nice uh, positive uh, signal on it so um i think the reason for that was that i was on the side of a mullet heap and there was a bit of a change in in minerals and every time i slept i swept the coil left or right uh the threshold was was sort of trying to come back um just as i was going over the target uh so the faster ISAT setting, um, just helping to sort of maintain that steady threshold, um, the target was was standing out a lot clearer. Now, I will try and uh, demonstrate that. So I'll put that little bit that I just found. Get this stick out of the way. I'll just put that bit of shot down in that hole. Bear with me while I get organised. Unplug my headphones. Alright, so I'm on a set of six. Just turn that volume yeah, it's all up. You can hear it's zip zip zipping on that target. Uh, if I drop my ISAT setting to minimum, which is 01 on the screen, and you can hear how the threshold's without dropping out. So when I go over the target, see how it's missing it? So I go to three. On three it's it's trying to it's trying to poke its head out from the threshold. But the threshold's just sort of drifting a little bit too much. And we'll go to five. Now we're getting a, a positive repeatable hit. Go to six. And you can see now on the ground. Getting a little bit of a waver, but the threshold's... Staying st solid. 
So when we go over the target, all right, you're not going to walk away from that. Now with your sat turned up, as long as the the ground will allow it, you can often turn your um, sensitivity up a little bit higher. So I was on 72, up to uh, up to 79. All right, and it's very loud and obvious. So just to demonstrate, if we went on set of one, and we noticed the threshold was dropping out, and then you drop your sensitivity down to try and get your threshold back, which also works. All right, still drifting a little bit, but not as bad. Now, I'm getting a faint threshold waiver there, but I know there's a target there. If I was just sweeping across that hole, I'd probably dismiss that as a ground noise. All right, so um, yeah, sensitivity and ISAT, the uh, relationship between those two is very, very critical. So basically you want your sensitivity as high as you can to match the ground conditions you're in and then turn your eye set up until you're not getting your threshold dropouts. Uh, and that'll be your optimum settings. So I'll turn it up. Go to 75. And you can see how, hopefully you can hear it. Yeah, it's dropping out. It's like the target sort of just blends in with the threshold trying to keep up. So we'll turn the set up to six. Now we've got a much more steady threshold. And we're hitting the target every time. Okay, now what about threshold setting itself? Now you can probably hear that hum pretty good. That's on 21. Now let's drop it down so it's silent. Now you can hear how that's desensitized it. Now if we go really high, all right, it's on 36. And that really smooths the threshold out because the, uh, the audio tone's just getting further and further away from the noise floor of the machine. So your noise is kind of hidden in the background. So we'll see how that goes. It's okay, but I think I've lost a bit of depth. Go down to 29. It's just like the uh, the signal's just struggling to uh, bust through a little bit. Down to 22. We're on the money again. 
So I think that's a good little exercise to do in your ground. Um, the, the, uh, the settings will vary slightly depending on what headphones you're using or whether you're using the uh, built-in speaker. Um, and also the ground minerals are going to make an effect. But going through that little exercise, um, preferably on a target you've detected and it's still in the ground. Um, just turn that down. That will um, yeah, just confirm to yourself that uh, you're in the right settings and give you a bit of confidence that you're not missing anything if it's there. Alright, hopefully that was uh, of some help. I'll get back to the detecting.